Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial I'm going to be doing an example of integration by parts. So for this example what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the integral of cosine x times e to the x with respect to x. So for my u I'm just simply going to pick e to the x which means that du over dx taking the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to taking the derivative of e to the x with respect to x and that simply equals e to the x and we can multiply the left and right hand side by dx and that would just simply give us du is equal to e to the x dx so this was our u right here so that means that cosine x dx has to be the rest of it, has to be the dv. So dv is equal to cosine x dx. So if we were to integrate the left hand side, the integral of dv is simply equal to v. And the integral of the right hand side uh, is simply just going to give us sine x. So now we have our u and our v, and we have our du as well here. So let's just go ahead and define this integral that we're trying to solve. We're going to define it as i. So now we have i is equal to u times v. u is e to the x. v is sine x. And then minus the integral of v times du. v is sine x. du is e to the x dx. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the integral of this. We're going to do integration by parts one more time on this integral. And I'm going to even include the minus sign when I'm defining my u's and v's over here. So for u, I'm just once again going to pick the e to the x part, which means that du is equal to e to the x dx once again. And I'm going to take negative sine x dx to be my dv. So dv is negative sine x dx. And if we integrate the left hand side, we get v. And integrating sine gives us negative cosine, but we have another negative here. So the negative times the negative is going to give us a positive cosine. So now i is equal to the first term, e to the x sine x. And since we included the negative here, we just simply add, since the negative was part of our definition here, we're just going to add the next part to it. And the next part is defined as u times v. This time u is e to the x. v is cosine x. And then we subtract the integral of v times du. v is cosine x and du is e to the x dx. And now if you notice here, we defined i to be equal to the integral of cosine x e to the x dx, and that's exactly what we have down here. So we can rewrite this now as i equals e to the x sine x plus e to the x cosine x minus i. So now if we add i to both sides, we simply have 2i is equal to, and then we can factor an e to the x out of these two terms here. So 2i is equal to e to the x times sine x plus cosine x. And uh, then we can just go ahead and divide each side by 2. So dividing each side by 2 just basically gives us i is equal to 1 half e to the x sine x plus cosine x. And then since we're doing an integration, we also have our constant term as well. So basically the integral of cosine x e to the x with respect to x is equal to 1 half e to the x times the quantity of sine x plus cosine x plus some constant. So this is our answer right there. So sometimes it's necessary to do integration by parts uh, a couple times and then uh, basically define our integral in terms of some other um, variable basically. 
And then from there, we can just kind of do a little bit of algebra when we get to this last step to basically realize that we have two of those now, divide by two, and we have our solution. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys understand a little bit more about how to do integration by parts. Thanks for watching. Um, have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.